What's up, my friends? El Jefe here, getting you ready for Giants Hard Knocks, episode number three, brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Use code REVIVAL, get half of your deposit matched. So episode two, I loved. Brian Dable in those combine interviews, I thought that was awesome. I was eating that up. I thought that was great stuff. Further cemented what a great offensive mind and why I like him as our coach moving forward. Episode one, a little bit concerning, didn't like it as much. It seemed to fly by, never really got going for me. And it was concerning. You saw a lot of Mara comments coming in there. Shane kind of trying to figure out if he knows what he's doing or not. I think it's still to be determined, to be honest with you. That's just where I'm coming from. With Mara butting in, he's the owner. I get it. Uh, he could do whatever he wants. Who am I to say he can't do that? But when you hire people to make football decisions for you, because your team was a disaster, that's why they were hired. Judge Gettleman, right? You had to make the decision. You hired new people because it got so bad. But then you're still constantly making your feelings known. And you're allowed to do that as the owner. But it's just concerning. That's all I'm saying. Owners do this all the time. I'm sure they always make their feelings known. But when you're urging your GM to do something that's against the grain of what most of the NFL has realized, like, I don't want Saquon to leave. I'm going to be sick if Saquon leaves. Get out of the way a little bit on that one. The Giants are not in a position to pay a running back. They're not. Even Saquon, as special as he is as a player, and as good as a guy as he seemed to be. I just think you should have let Shane trade Barkley when we're 2-6 and six last season. Completely lost season. Shane knew he didn't want to pay him what he was going to ask for. You didn't want to tag him again. Neither side wanted that. Then trade him. Everyone was afraid that the Giants are losing their best offensive player, which is true, but then get something in return. Now he goes to a hated rival where he's just going to dunk on you this season. He's going to score five touchdowns in the two games. I, I've already accepted that. You got nothing back for him. And so, yes, admittedly, I'm still trying to figure out if Joe Shane knows what he's doing. He puts on like a relaxed smile sometimes. He's hopping around talking to other GMs, fishing for that Brian Burns trade. Actually, it was just handed to him. The fish just jumped in his boat. But he got that deal done, and I think we're going to see that tonight. It's going to be 37 minutes of pure ecstasy, I'm sure. It's the free agency episode. We're going to see the Barkley stuff come to a close, the Brian Burns trade. But I don't think there's going to be any heavy drama, from what I understand, in the show. But we're Giants fans. We'll make drama. Just letting you know where I'm coming from. As of right now, love Dable as coach. Want him calling plays. Shane, everything to be determined. I'm hoping for the best for this Giants season. A lot of things have to go right. Either way, it's been awesome seeing the Giants on Hard Knocks. Love getting the extra footage, the behind the scenes stuff. It's all been gravy. No matter what comes out, there's gonna be drama from Giants fans. There's gonna be button heads. There's gonna be theories. You saw it from week one to week two. <laughs> they never wanted a quarterback, I told you. They were trying to trade up to number three. Maybe it was for a punter. You don't, you don't know that it was for a quarterback. Oh my God. But I'm pumped for episode three. Let's get it. As always, go Giants. This is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Use code REVIVAL. Get half of your deposit matched up to 250 bucks. And stay tuned for a Revival Fantasy League through Underdog. We'll be announcing that in early August. Can't wait to get you guys involved with that. I'll see you guys soon. Go Giants.